let's begin let's see what's coming your way and we do have the magician and the chariot in reverse so might be a cancer that we manifest for some of you maybe um you might be manifesting some movement right things um it, it has a sense of freedom the chariot and the page of pentacles an offer of freedom or compromising in order to get your freedom back let me see what's going on here the seven of wands in reverse and the chariot in reverse somebody is blocking a new cycle breaking free from something that's um can be the confinement by the way because we are all going through this pandemic and we are confined and it has a sense of freedom and fighting for freedom or fighting to get things moving and here you are upside down because things are not moving things are um you know stagnant and what do we want family and stability ten of pentacles that's what we want that's what we need and we simply get stagnation at this time let me see if i can shuffle this way and we do have the chariot with the seven of wands fighting for some action new beginnings you name it right let's have the last shuffle the chariot and the five of cups and yet we feel guilty for one thing freedom right so let's see what's going on maybe somebody uh, left and we feel uh, we miss them five of cups is also mine i miss you like crazy and um, energy ten of cups in reverse five of wands in reverse and the world so we are dealing with an ending over here the world is upright thank god is over every time i see the world upright it it gives me a sense of at the end of the day aries you'll be happy right because it um it ends in your favor but for now um we are in conflict with someone uh five of wands we are also conflicted about what happiness should look like and what is about family and children and um, husband and wife a separation of some sort emotional instability and we are but it's coming to an end in a positive way that's a world but let's see before we jump to conclusions there past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and the mutual of course let me see right now you your person and mutual and let's have the possible outcome bottom of the deck the star in reverse aquarius energy we might be a little bit lost at this time when we get major arcana it's like the universe asking you to ask for guidance um you know to have counseling every time we see the star it's all about counseling and and um and aligning yourself with your divine purpose so in this situation somebody is really right um guided towards spirituality and your way out of this situation so aries what happened in the past what do we have on your side the two of swords in reverse and the six of swords in reverse and it has this energy of you deciding to stay even if the situation was unstable absolutely you needed peace of mind and out of this connection and yet right with the six of swords in reverse is a decision to stay right where you are um in probably you it's you know it has this energy of you stayed um or your departure was long overdue in some way you know um like energy was not um you know extremely helpful things were not flowing and um i would even say tormented waters right and and you thought about uh bailing out but then probably you were unable to and this is when things got conflictual and unhappy right there was no longer a happy home now this person of yours they do have the three of pentacles in reverse and the six of wands in reverse it has the energy of shame and it has the energy of falling out of a partnership so somebody here uh, probably kept going because of uh, pride with the six of wands uh, because partnership was important whatever you've built together they didn't want to lose it with the three of uh, pentacles in reverse right and um and they kept um going as well right it has the energy of maybe giving up the fight but not the um the assets and whatever you've built together 
but then it happened right the ace of wands in reverse and the four of wands again instability lack of passion probably lack of sensuality lack of physical touch we have the ace of wands we know um you know it has a, a sense of um attraction and um and playful and and playfulness but then four of wands in reverse right it became unstable um and a decision was needed and um and the partnership kind of fell apart this is how it feels right with a lot of conflict a lot of unhappiness probably assets involved or a separation of some sort so where are we right now um, aries we do have the eight of swords and the nine of pentacles probably you are single and yet still bound to this situation eight of swords you know the universe saying that um, maybe you see obstacles but they are not as many as you think um for some of you might be waiting or you see obstacles to your independence uh, financial independence maybe you wait on a decision of some sort it has a sense of i can't move till i get my whatever uh, package you expect whatever things you expect that will make you independent somebody paying back their debts or whatever this is you are waiting right for the right moment and you are bound to a decision that has to happen in order for you to be financially independent and finally break free from uh from this person um now here is this person of um, yours they do have the page of swords and they have the seven of swords so some food for thought they are preparing a strategy right now it's not a it's not one of the most honest ones and the page of swords is the energy of a genius idea but their idea is like kind of malefic in some way because it's um, connected to the seven of swords so i don't know we do have the three of pentacles in reverse we know it's the energy of a home of assets of things we've built together and right now they are um really um trying to be to outsmart right the system or whatever is happening between the two of you so that they get some advantage of some sort right this is kind of like the um the intelligence used for bad things right mutual energies between the two of you we do have the high priestess in reverse and the five of cups in reverse um revelation secrets coming out um you know for this i would say for the sake of everybody because five of cups is the energy of healing and emotional distress um it has the energy of finally seeing the uh, you know the situation it is coming out of a very um emotional time where we feel a lot of regret and guilt for what happened but we are healing and we are healing because of things that we find out and can be secrets we know high priestess is about secrets but mainly can also be about conversations probably you recently had conversations with this person and slowly you see this for what this is you know and you know how it feels the reading so far aries it feels like you never really know someone till you separate from them you know this is how it feels strongly right it took an ending like this one like the world in the overall energy to see the extent of conflict, the lack of compatibility, um, the assets, the money, you know, how it's connected, the sense of security that was there at some point and somebody is trying to take advantage and take the bigger side of it, right? I'm just saying, it, um, it's, it looks like an ugly divorce over here. Um, well energy is coming your way or the outcome of this we do have the queen of pentacles Taurus Virgo, the capricorn energy and the six of wands it has the energy of you don't need to fight six of wands is the energy of fighting going to battle and winning no need to fight um everything is yours right queen of pentacles we know it's all about abundance it's about money financial stability everything at the end of the day you're gonna take it you don't need to go to battle for it right this person of yours they do have the five of pentacles in reverse and the ace of pentacles they want to make an offer of compromise but we need to have a decent conversation breaking the silence with the five of pentacles i feel because this is the energy coming their way so they want to break that silence 
and they do have an offer here might look small because it's an ace of pentacles but it comes with you know a sense of separation rejection divorce financial issues but they want to make the first step mutual energies between the two of you the eight of wands and the five of cups yes both of you feeling regret for what happened but kind of ready to move on you know eight of wands it, it has a, a sense of quick shift in movement breaking free it has the energy of communication speaking your mind and five of cups right moving away from whatever was burdening in this situation now aries i'm not seeing love here i am not seeing love i'm seeing fight for money and strategies for money um, but I'm also seeing happy endings, right? It will be in your favor. All this will be in your favor. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, and we know, right? I mean, she's a smart lady, the Queen of Pentacles. It has the energy of doing the right thing. It has the energy of method, right? It has the energy of nurturing something and coming from a place of honesty, you know? So it will, it, it will. I'm, I'm not seeing on their side, I... I you know their energy is fully disorganized and all over the place and um i don't feel that they are advancing much but on your side i'm i feel that things will fall into place for you and i do love the nine of pentacles you know i am pretty sure in your energy you start to feel a sense of independence a sense of moving on a sense of i'm self-sufficient that's a nine of pentacles i'm enough you know um, it's the energy of self-care and healing the nine of pentacles sense of I am important you know I have to be well in order to carry on whatever mission you are uh, here on this planet to accomplish right it's a beautiful energy but it comes with restrictions I know we are not there yet but it is coming um, with the eight of swords right and it's a it's a beautiful energy now that we know right because we might restrict ourselves and we see obstacles, but actually we, you know, it's the universe saying you can be courageous because you are enough, you know. Don't don't be scared to step out there and, uh, and do what you need to do. Uh, for some of you, it's a very shameful situation, Aries. I don't know exactly where this shame, they have the shame energy on their side in the past and you have it as energy coming your way. So some food for thought, whatever is shameful, uh, you know, to be addressed in a very nurturing way, in a very open way, kind way, and and see how this is an obstacle, right, to, I mean, coming uh, to this happy ending, um, I would say quickly, because love is no longer here, um, Aries, I, I don't want to break the bad news, but we are, we are not, um, you know, in a loving connection with this person on the contrary somebody is trying to take advantage of you here um well we're gonna go with the advice anyway so let's see keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so i feel that your soulmate is going to be different and it will require for you to stretch a little bit more we do have engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and we do have codependency what's going on energies all over the place addictions are affecting your romantic life we do have unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and we do have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so Aries, I'm, well, I mean, you see what I say, right? So we have unrequited love and codependency. We are in a connection where love is no longer present. And actually, we have to keep an open mind if we want to have a commitment with a real soulmate, right? We need to keep manifesting this energy. We need to keep an open mind and keep the energies in the flow. And I feel you are guided, um, you know, kind of to a real soulmate connection and um, kind of figure out how to deal with the codependency and the unrequited love um, that we have right now with somebody. 
spiritual maturity we do have keep an open mind and spiritual maturity and I, I it speaks to me about ascension it speaks to me about awakening right and uh, people being different and people coming from different places and uh, and it's the beauty of it right so keep an open mind and be mature about i love this even more we do have worthiness so aries somebody here is actually guided to work on their self-esteem on their confidence next move next plan spiritual maturity finding your worthiness through spiritual maturity it's a good approach by the way we do have connection and we have calling in your soulmate but we also have codependency so you are in a codependent connection and you need to look into it uh, from a from a place of self-esteem spiritual maturity and forgiveness we do have unrequited love with forgiveness bottom of the deck love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer and guess what it goes with worthiness and calling in your soulmate um absolutely aries you are guided here to manifest a, a soulmate connection something that is um you know mature um where there is a spiritual bond and a sense of self-esteem or your self-esteem has to be preserved and respected i know and whoever hurt you with unrequited love we have to forgive them it is one of the one of the pillars of spirituality right so we do have fear we need to surrender this one i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love fear we do have acceptance and i kind of feel it goes with worthiness right i am learning to accept the things i cannot change we have purpose I know what I'm here to do. So these are energies we need to put back into the flower. A sense of acceptance, a sense of purpose and service. Surrender loneliness and fear. You have two energies. I know that I'm never alone. So that's something you have to say yourself when you uh, feel that anxiety kicking, right? Surrender your belief in scarcity, Aries. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The energy is all over the place, Aries. I don't know whose energy I picked up. But do not be afraid. You are never alone, right? You have fear of loneliness. No. We accept the situation and we live with a sense of purpose. And don't be afraid. You know, you are enough. I, I don't know if we have somebody afraid to manifest a new connection because maybe uh we believe you know um Aries you might believe you might be um you know having this idea that you will never have enough um general guidance ear chakras notice messages that appear as sounds music and words from both external sources and within your mind these messages are real answers to your prayers. So if you are looking for answers, also you have to be aware and attentive in your environment. We do have assertiveness, right? We need to speak up. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested, yet there is also a need for your strength and truthful, truthfulness with the other people involved. We will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. So it's about speaking up. Bottom of the deck, visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. So again, manifestation. Right, there is manifestation. You are guided to manifest success in this one. And really speak up. I feel over here we are in uh, in a connection where there is codependency and requited love and you are actually guided to speak up to end this uh, visualize success and um, let go 
um, it's kind of like keeping holding on to a connection just because we have financial security and a fear of loneliness and these right there are the wrong reasons uh, to stay in a connection right I'm just saying love who you are you have worthiness and love who you are you are divine you are delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer so that is a reminder to an Aries out there who lost um, a sense of a sense of home right um, and we are at home within ourselves but that's another discussion for another time right um, Aries, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.